<clears throat> Hi there. Uh, it's uh, Roger Hyde here again, just showing you what seems to be happening this evening. Um, I believe a chem bomb has been deployed. As you can see, there's some sort of strange residue reaching across the sky. And if I pan and left, you can see more of it over there. And it emanates from generally that direction and if you look over this way you can see it trails all the way back and through to that point there in between the trees so it starts off at a point where it's been released as you can see over here that's the that's the end of it that's the the first stage of the release as you can see further in the distance and above it here and here are more evidence of a, a, a large release as you can see it's, it's as you get further back towards the actual uh, explosion you can say of this device you can see that the trails, the residue substance in the cloud actually thickens. There has been no planes going over today that I've noticed. It's been quite a wet and miserable day as it goes. Um, there could be evidence uh, over in the distance there of a possible trail, but it looks again like residue to me. Uh, if I zoom in, you'll kind of see what I mean. That there in the background looks like a chemtrail. But indeed, it isn't. It's part of the actual uh, chem bomb. Well, I'm pretty sure it was detonated. Uh, I would say from here, off the coast... maybe off the coast of St Austell if I lift this camera higher and you can see the distance it's kind of spread from there they kind of look like normal clouds over there but they're not I think that's the result of the metamorphosizing of whatever chemicals they put into the air into clouds and I can't see them as being real clouds these certainly by facade those most definitely are some sort of uh, residue 99% sure it's from a chem bomb because of the way it's been dispersed in the air uh, and because of the similarity uh, in the residue to that which you get with uh, chemtrails uh, which I can show you closer here uh, you see the actual clouds themselves the black part here, I'm not sure if you call them clouds but these are trying to mix in with uh, some of the lower residue what happens there I don't know but you have the residue at higher altitude actually moving in one direction and you have these clouds up above us here a pan out so you can get a better view of them they're actually being blown in another direction now I'm pretty sure they're clouds of some sort unless there's a real huge fire over there and I'm completely mistaken if I am I apologise to whoever's involved but as you can see it's, this is no doubt in my mind whatsoever residue it was always stratospheric winds blowing it out across the way well if that's the case then why aren't that straight why is that blowing in a completely different direction but it seems to be at the same altitude as the others you know, 
there's no real answer for it. This is some sort of residue. This is a nighttime attack. Again, they don't care when or when they do it. It's just a matter of that they do it. So, I'll leave the shot of this horrible sunset, and I'm ashamed to say that because I do love sunsets. Take care, my friends. Uh, wishing you much love and peace.